Michael, to you, the, the entire region is so critical, and it seems like right now is this incredible moment in time. Who knows what's going to happen? What should happen? What should our role be in it? What should we tr be trying to promote? We, we shouldn't be trying to promote anything. What we're doing is cheerleading an absolute strategic disaster for the United States and the Middle East. Whether you agreed with it or not, our entire strategy in the Middle East for the last 30 years or more has depended on the maintenance of tyranny. The tyrannies uh, gave us easy access to oil. They helped to protect the Israelis. And they, they suppressed and persecuted the Islamic movement. Mm. That strategy has now collapsed. And I think the best thing we could do here is not fall for this nonsense that a few people on Twitter and a, a few hundred people on Facebook represent a democratic movement across the Middle East. The movement we're seeing is toward Islam. Well, and, and I think everybody makes the jump that if it happened on Twitter, it must be good. I don't know how that happens. Yeah. But Ed, to you, are we, have we just been promoting tyranny? Is that America's rep uh, in the region, and is it deserved? Well, you take someone like Mubarak. Mubarak was our ally for a long time, kept a peace there. He was an important ally. Obviously, a revolution has taken place there, and they want a different, different form of government. Gaddafi's always been a bad guy. Uh, we have had our policy pretty inconsistent over the years. One day he's bad, one day he's good. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's a bad guy. But that doesn't mean that the side we've jumped in on don't have bad guys, too. And I think at the end of the day, you can only go where your national interests are involved, and they're not here. Well, if you, if you are playing the humanitarian game, why not Syria? Why not? Oh, and why not Yemen? Why not Syria? Why, why not, not Iran a year Sudan? Ago? Why not Iran two years ago? Um, you know, lit, I can have five countries we could be at war with by the weekend if, if your only goal is humanitarian assistance. Well, and, and we certainly don't want to go there. I think <laughs> what's going to be interesting tonight is to watch the president for whatever political message he's right. also sending to his own party. What will be the message for Democrats, Ed? Well, this is the anti-war president. This was the guy who was going to bring sure us Sure is all, trigger all, happy, all, isn't all he, all for all an anti-war? And I think... I think you have to give a very clear message, and it has to be more than just the humanitarian efforts. Uh, I want you to hear something that uh, President Obama had to say on this score. Uh, there we go. The president does not have power under the Constitution to unilaterally authorize a milita military attack in a situation that does not involve stopping or, or an actual or imminent threat to the nation. Wow, what a turnaround. <laughs> is this the same guy as today? I mean, it's shocking to look at what he said. Now, you know, this was a long time ago. He wasn't president at the time, KT. Well, I think he's turned out to be actually very trigger happy, you know, and very quick to resort to force, whether it's in Afghanistan or whether it's this situation. And I want to note a couple of things. Are we having a precedent now where we're going to get involved in other people's civil wars and weighing in on them? And two, um, what are we going to have left when the real crunch comes? Because the real crunch will come on the Saudi Peninsula, and we've got to be prepared and ready and have something left to deal with. Michael, last word to you. Uh, you know, Qaddafi, not a good guy in almost anybody's estimation. Uh, uh, really problematic. Why not try to take him out? Same reason we should not have taken Saddam out, because as long as he was in control there, the Islamists were going to be suppressed and prevented from moving, moving uh, west, uh, or east rather, toward Israel. We took out Saddam, we took out, uh, we took out Mubarak, and we're helping to take out Gaddafi. Whether you like them or not, the people that are going to replace them are going to be much worse for U.S. interests. Mm -hmm. It's simply a, a reality we're going to have to deal with one way or another. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But thanks to the panel today Great. for helping us out. Great Thank job. You. Thanks, Michael, KT, and Ed. Thank you. And Thank